Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Mask D, and today I'm gonna be talking about the Iron Banner Arsenal. I finally managed myself to get all the gear and all the weapons from the past event. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about all the things that I have here and I hope you guys like it, alright? So to start this off, I'm gonna be talking about the features of the Gillian's Demise. And I'll start with the sights. Uh, on the first uh, circle we have the red dot OES. It is an agile site for smooth engagement in close quarters. This is perfect for PvP and also PvE. It's definitely my favor favorite site. Secondly, we have the Focus Lens FLA5. It's a sharpshooter scope with long range, enhanced target acquisition, and it's surprisingly light. I personally don't like for PvP because of the closed range and the penalty to the stability, but there's a lot of people that like this site. And last but not least, we have the Quick Draw IS. It's an agile site and gives me a lot of reload speed. Why I don't need reload speed? Because I'm using the Iron Regalia sleeves and I bought specifically for scout rifles so when i have these gauntlets equipped i have a perk called scout rifle loader that increases the reload speed of scout rifles nonetheless it looks clunky so i'm not down for that moving next we have the outlaw this is my second favorite perk for this weapon precision kills with this weapon dramatically increases reload speed this perk combined with the iron regalia sleeves are amazing. It has a perfect combination for quick draw. Next, we have the snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. This doesn't change much really. It can be a little bit better for PvP, but I don't see this thing happening on PvE. Moving next, we have the hammer forged. Improved range and accuracy. To be honest, this weapon already have a lot of range, so I'm not worried about this upgrade. The next perk is the Armor Piercing Rounds. This is definitely my favorite perk for this column, especially because it over penetrate targets. Moving next, we have the Firefly. This is by far my favorite perk for this weapon especially because precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. By exploding targets, you kill everything in the area, which is amazing. Now let's talk a little bit about the Fell Winter's Lie. I'm not going to go through all the perks on this shotgun, especially because there's not much to cover, but I'm gonna talk about the three main perks. The first of them is Return to the Sender. Kills with this weapon grant bonus ammo directly to the magazine. So if you notice here I have four bullets in my mag and I'm going to kill this guy. See I still have the four bullets. I'll do it again. Still the four bullets. This is super helpful for PvE and PvP. The biggest problem of this weapon is the reload speed. It's really really low. This upgrade flared magwell helps to fix the problem reload this weapon even faster so make sure you have this checked out and the last upgrade i have to talk about this weapon is the range finder aiming this weapon increases its effective range not much to talk about it i'm just gonna show you how it works check from how far i shoot this guy it's a first shoot kill check how i killed this other guy it's from really far, so that's the good thing of having the range finder on Felwinter's Lie. And to prove that I really use this combo for PvE, I'm gonna let you watch how I did the daily heroic mission. Where I use my Felwinter's Lie to kill the wizards with only two shots each. And that's pretty much it for today guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed, subscribe on the corner if you like it. And I see you over the week, all right? Peace.
Crota's soul is banished. You have given me the gift of vengeance. I thank you.